Look at what we have found. Admittedly, not very difficult, but we have finally come upon our lions, and it seems as though we have come upon a romancing pair of lions. Although they're taking a break from the romancing for a little while. They've probably been romancing for a couple of days now. Oh, there we go, a male lion and a lioness. We're not far at all from another herd of wildebeest and another group of zebra. But the one thing we know about romancing lions is that, look, they will hunt. They absolutely will hunt um, if, if the opportunity presents itself. But it's not really on their priority list. And what you usually find, oh, hey girl brief lift of the head. What you usually find is that the lioness will try and hunt and the male somehow manages to disrupt it in some manner. There's actually a whole herd of zebra walking straight towards us now that I look at it. Are you coming this way? Zebbies? There we go. There's a couple of other, there's a couple of zebra wandering in this direction. There's about to be a vehicle wandering in this direction as well. That's going to block VM's shot. Morning. They look as though they've had a busy evening. But when lions are mating, for our new viewers, <coughs> it tends to occur roughly every 15 minutes. Sometimes they slow down a bit if it's too hot or they will slow down towards the end. But on average, it's around about four times an hour that they will mate. So a little bit of patience. Hey, we could watch lions mating in thermal. Never filmed lions mating in thermal, Vim? No? Hey, that might be something fun to do. Something different. Well, oh, she's up. There we go. There we go. Shall we get the first lion mating in thermal? Um, that's quite nondescript, isn't it? <laughs> there is a... There is a yellow blob. <laughs> right, well, that's the family-friendly version. And there's the color version. She's missing the tip of her tail. I know this line is. There's also a male line that's missing the tip of his tail that's part of this dominant coalition. Oh, dearie me. This is slightly more protracted than usual. She looks thoroughly unimpressed with him. Oh, there we go. We try a different position. I don't think she was terribly comfortable on that termite mound. Oh, goodness. You're such a flirt, girl. <laughs> Cute. Now oh, he's snarling at her. Which one is this? This fang? Looks like it might be. We'll have to have a look and see if he's missing his canine. So there are three male lions that are dominant in this area, and a fourth that sort of comes and goes, and not much is known about him. Yeah, that's Fang. Uh, he's, of course, named Fang because he's missing one. There's something happening. Oh, oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Love is in the air. Tis the season to be merry. Plenty of lionesses to go around for the dominant coalition. Perhaps the um, constant mer, 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 mer of the wildebeest, perhaps they find that quite stirring. That is a magnificent male lion over there. I've seen him before from a distance, and Scott's seen him, but I haven't actually properly had a chance to see him. Yes, Louise has commented that perhaps the sound of the wildebeest is the lion equivalent of Barry White. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, Lou. The male lions in the Mara are utterly magnificent. They are enormous. Hi, guys. Morning. The Notch Boys are truly spectacular. I've spent, of all of the males out here, I've spent the most time with the Notch Boys. Oh, good night. Oh! <laughs> snarly snarly for our new viewers lion mating is always a little bit uh, a little bit aggressive and um, that of course is because it is painful for the female it's one of the ways that ovulation is induced and for that whole process to work she has to be uncomfortable during it 
and as a result she tends to turn around and snarl at him and he tends to get a bit snarly in defense and so you end up with two lions who don't look very happy in each other's company but instinct drives them to stay in each other's company right now we've got two very flat lions I think for now the romance has quietened down Let's see <laughs> wildebeest the zebra have stopped coming in this direction generally lions tend to give themselves away when they are in this vulnerable position <laughs> Stanley, Stanley times three, Stanley, Stanley, Stanley says that it is a mixed doubles event this morning. I couldn't have put it better than myself. And of course the spectators on the side. Perhaps we should go and look at the spectators because the lions are now, are now flat. Let's go and have a look. Often you find that the audience is even more entertaining than the main show. That applies across the board. Have you come up with any good GNU puns yet? I'm struggling. I might have set you a challenge that is a little bit too difficult. All right, while we go off in search of more things, we'll come back to these lines in a little bit. Let's go across to Byron, who's got something with a very good view of an area.